manufacturer of loom coil mats mats such as rod mat creel mat fiber mat and loop mats are manufactured on loom rod mat rod mats are available in natural stenciled mottled and inlaid designs in rod mats the brush pile is formed out of topping yarn stacked into a puncha form made from two three or four soft twisted strands for getting good brush before making into the punja form the yarns are sorted according to shade and twist it is then made into punja form the punja yarn is kept near the loom the proportion of the topping yarn and weft can be varied to suit the required quality the pile in the rod mat is produced by cutting the topping yarn worn over a flat grooved steel bar along with the alternate ends of warp the pile height can be varied by using rod of different thickness the loom for weaving rod mat has two treadles and two heddle frames the warp threads are drafted through the heddle eyes in the order 1 or 2 thereafter the yarns are slayed through the reed one in a dent to ensure firm edges for the mat at the extreme ends Two strands of warp yarn at both sides of the mat are drawn through the same heddle eye and they are slayed through a single dent in the reed. 30s reed is used for rod mat. To start weaving, depress the first treadle to make a shed. The grooved iron rod is then kept over the top layer of warp strand across the warp and the topping yarn is taken from one side of the warp to the other through the shed and wound spirally. over the rod along with the alternate strands of warp in the top layer the iron rod now worn with the yarn is brought to the fell of the cloth by beating The weft yarn is wound over the stick shuttle. Thereafter, a weft is inserted through the same shed and slay is beaten fast to allow the weft closer to the portion already woven. After changing the shed while depressing the other treadle a knife is passed through the iron rod and the topping yarn wound over the rod is cut repeat the process of weaving to get further length of mat the rod mat is finished on all sides by stitching coir braid with the body of the mat The formation of diagonal lines on the rear side of the mat is a characteristic feature for easy identification of rod mats. creel mat creel mats are manufactured both on hand looms and power looms these are available as two chain creel mat and three chain carnatic mat for two chain creel mat a loom with three treadles and three heddle frames are essential the tight and slack warp threads are prepared separately on two chain beams and put at the back of the loom The slack warp threads are drafted through the first heddle frame and tight warp threads through the second and third heddle frames in the order 211 and 311. The proportion of tight and slack is in the ratio of 1 is to 2. 28 reeds are used for weaving creel mat. 3 warp threads 
two slats and one tight are drawn through each dent in the reed. To start weaving, depress the second and third treadles. Now all the slack warp threads will be raised up. Through the shed, insert a grooved iron rod and beat with slay. Then depress the first treadle and insert a weft. After proper beating, first and second treadles are depressed followed by the insertion of another weft. By this process, the iron rod first inserted is properly held in the mat with slack yarn bent over it. To insert the second iron rod, second and third treadles are again depressed and after inserting the rod, first treadle is also depressed to pass a weft yarn through the shed form. Lastly, first and third treadles are depressed and one more weft is inserted. Now by passing a knife through the groove of the first iron rod, the slack yarn bent over is cut. Repeat the process for further weaving. Power loom creel mats are woven in roll and then cut into required size. It is available in natural, stripes, mottled, jaspy, stenciled and tile patterns. When we look at the back side of the creel mat, we can see the horizontal rows across the width of the mat. Carnatic mat, 3 chains. 3 chain creel mat with the base fabric composed of jute twine and pile structure formed by thin wycomb coir yarn of soft twist is termed as Carnatic mat in coir trade. It is the best quality under the creel mat family and well known for its low pile height. Carnatic mat is widely used as car mat, pile carpet and dough mat. The binding chain gives added strength to the mat by way of going over and under the weft and rows of pile. 5. Ply jute as tight warp, 2. Ply jute for binding, 3. Ply jute for weft and thinner variety of Wycombe Carnatic yarn as lac warp for the pile are used in the Carnatic mat. 3 heddle frames and 3 treadles are required for weaving Carnatic mat. 3 kinds of warp threads namely tight, Binding and slack chains are prepared separately on three chain beams. The drafting order is 3, 2 and 1. That is, the slack warp threads are drafted through the first heddle frame and the binding and tight warp threads through the second and the third heddle frames respectively. These warp threads are slayed three in a dent, one tight, one slack and one binding. The weaving start by depressing the second and third treadles and insert a pile gauge through the shed. Depress the first and second treadles, a weft is inserted. Beat the sleigh properly. Depress the third treadle and insert the second weft. Now the pile gauge inserted will be properly held by the warp yarn having the slack warp through the weft properly bent over the pile gauge. Repeat the same operations for fixing one more pile gauge adjacent to the first pile gauge. Pass knife through the groove in the first pile gauge and cut the warp bent over it. Repeat the weaving process for further length of the mat. In 3 chain creel mat, namely Carnatic mats, the ends per decimeter and picks for decimeter is almost doubled whereas the pile height and weight of the mat is almost reduced to half in comparison with 2 chain creel mat made of Wycombe. It is available in natural, solid, shades, stripes, 
mottled, jasper, stenciled and tile patterns. Fiber mat As the name itself indicates that the fiber mats are made out of koya fiber. Fiber mats are manufactured in plain, natural color, fancy, striped and stenciled fancy fiber mat having woven designs of intricate patterns obtained by inserting of colored fiber has great demand in the market. Single chain and double chain fiber mat are produced. It is woven in a range of intricate designs and pile heights. The designs are beveled to give clarity. Fiber mats have a very compact brush firmly held by the base fabric and therefore these mats are very much durable. Highly skilled craftsmen weave these mats. For weaving fiber mat, the loom requires three heddle frames and three treadles. The tight and slack warps are prepared separately on two chain beams. The tight warp which is at maximum tension is used for inserting the fiber tuft. The slack warp at a lesser tension works as the binding chain and offers a sturdier construction for the base fabric of the mat. The binding chain interlaces firmly with every pick in the mat and warps around the bottom part of the fiber tuft. Because of this, the picks in between every row of piles are firmly held in the mat and bottom part of the fiber tuft is completely concealed. Draw the design to be woven on the fiber mat in a graph paper for choosing the color of the weft while weaving. This loom sketch of design facilitate easy weaving of the fiber mat of the same design by different weavers. The tight warp threads are drafted through the first and second hurdle frames and the slack warp threads through the third hurdle frames. The proportion of tight and slack is in the ratio of 1 is to 1. The drafting order is 1, 3 and 2, 3 and the warp threads are slayed 2 in a den, 1 slack and 1 tight. Depress the third treadle so that all the tight warp threads are raised up and slack warp threads are lowered. The tufts of fiber are inserted through every alternate tight warp threads. While insertion of fiber tuft, care should be taken to see that the fiber tuft inserted at the extreme ends of the mats are put at a little downward from the bottom level of the other tufts to give extra firmness for the pile at the sides of the mat which prevents falling of the brush at sides while in use. After completion of the insertion of tuft, the first and second treadles are depressed and a weft is passed in. Depress the third treadle and insert another weft. Now a wooden plank according to the pile height required is placed in front of the fiber tuft. Top part of the fiber is cut uniformly with the help of a big scissors. Repeat the process of weaving for further length of the mat. Generally a 42s and 32s reed is used. Fancy fiber mat having woven designs of intricate patterns obtained by inserting of colored fiber has great demand in the market. When we look at the backside of the fiber mat, we can see the base of the tuft of fiber on the selvages and horizontal rows across the width of the mat. Loop Mat In the loop mat, Pile is in the form of loops of yarn. It is a three chain creel mat with one tight and two slack warps in which one forms the loop and the other works as binding. 
The weave is similar to three-chain creel mat, but the main difference 